set where we need to see a lot of crowd participation. My earliest memories of music. My earliest, earliest memory of music is. Um. Um. Should I say more? <laughs> you could say more. You can say whatever you want. My name is Nick. My name is Esteban. My name is Alex. I'm Jason Marmel. My name is Karina Guerrero. My earliest memories are just listening to the radio in the car. A lot of times we would just go on these long drives, usually on the weekend. Listening to Fergalicious at my neighbor's house, just on repeat, just almost every day. And then also just like listening to the radio in the car whenever we were just going places. My earliest memories of music would be probably going to like some form of party or in the car listening to the radio. My earliest, earliest memory of music is actually listening to Girlfriend by Avril Lavigne. I have no clue why it was like my favorite, favorite song at like such a young age, but I vividly remember not wanting to get out of bed one morning and my mom just blasting the song as her final attempt to get me up and it worked. <laughs> my earliest memories of music involve my mom taking me to I think it was called Music Together, where it was like not a daycare, but you would go for like a class. And I was maybe about about three or four years old. And you would go and just play different instruments. They had violins, they had pianos, they had a bunch of like kitty instruments. My dad had a shaggy CD that we all play all the time. Is either that or Disney Mania, whatever that is, where they had like a compilation of all these Disney songs. So I think that just sort of influenced my taste and just of where where that came from. I listen to a lot of different genres of music, so definitely like J. Cole, Juan Luis Guerra, uh, Anthony Santos, G.I.D., Jay-Z. Demi Lovato, Bad Bunny. I've been getting into Conan Gray recently. I love Olivia Rodrigo. I love Bad Bunny. Um, and a recent favorite is Noah Cahan. I really wouldn't say I have an all-time favorite artist. I think I just have a mix of different genres and then people that are fitting into those different genres but even then i wouldn't say there's nothing too specific i just see, have things i lean more towards than others but then every once in a while i'll do like a week of musicals or like a week of rap or edm whatever it is but then i always kind of gravitate back to the main things i listen to <laughs> Bad Bunny has been very influential, not in just terms of my uh, music taste, but also like creatively, like any project I do, like whether it's in photography or videography or anything like that, I always find a way to kind of capture his like um, aesthetics. Bad Bunny feels like he exemplifies everything of like my Latin culture, my Puerto Rican culture. So being able to connect with that in recent years, as I've been learning a bit more about like where my family comes from has been very important to me. I always listen to a lot of different genres because I have a lot of different influences. Like Dominican music would be from my parents. My sister is more like reggaeton. My cousin and brother is more like rap. So it's a lot of different genres. I would say it's definitely like di diversified and matured. So like I was definitely like listening mainly to like more pop music and just whatever was like on like today's hits on Pandora and things like that. My dad, he used to listen to a lot of like reggaeton in the car and like a lot of like the classic, like what we consider classics now, like Wisin y Yamel, Daddy Yankee. So I got a little bit of everything. For me, music is very much so, um, just something I have to have in the background. It sort of quiets everything around me, allows me to focus and kind of tune things out, especially when things can be kind of stressful. I feel like a lot of people connect with music because they use it as like a stress reliever or an escape. So when they go see it live and they get to see their artists, the whole environment just 
encapsulates them. So I actually didn't get into concerts until way later, you know, um, maybe this was around 2019. And it was the, that year I, when I went to my first actual concert. Seeing your favorite singer in person, seeing your favorite band, whatever it is in person, it like strikes a chord in a way that, you know, just listening to music with your headphones in your room doesn't really do. What I like about it is that you just feel like a part of the moment. I would have to say that the Un Verano Sin Ti concert for Bad Bunny like a summer or two ago must have been like the most memorable experience for me. Just had this like overwhelming sense of like Latin community and like Latin presence. And I see this at a lot more um, Spanish speaking artists. Like it bring, it's, creates a sense of community among like different countries. Like you go, um, like when I saw Bad Bunny, it's like you see a lot of like different flags. You see the Puerto Rican flag, the Dominican flag, Mexican flag, Colombian flag. And you see everybody like from all different parts of the world, they all come together and you're enjoying this night, this moment, this artist. Out of the three concerts, like I've been to going to see Paula Abdul's, getting to meet her and seeing my dad meet her because that's his favorite artist was just like something that kind of just like stuck with me. Are you excited? Really? Can I ask that? Yeah. I feel like music is just going to keep taking the same role that it has always. It's always going to change and conform to the younger generation and like what they're going through and their experiences. And that's why people get stuck on a certain type of music. So as they get older, they don't really connect with like newer artists. In my life going forward, I think music is going to keep doing what it's always been doing. It's like you just have songs that like really are like the soundtrack to your life. And certain artists like always come out with um, songs that seem to like match my life at that point. I think people just naturally want some sort of community within themselves. So when they find sort of like a niche group, whether it's you know through music, for them becomes very important, especially on an emotional level where they find and create relationships based off those interests. Definitely. There were a couple songs that like helped me through the pandemic, especially not being able to go out. It evokes a lot of like different emotions. And like you listen back to these songs and you like it almost like teleports you back to that place. I think it's just so important that we keep listening to music. We keep exploring new artists and that we recognize the role that music can truly play in our lives, in our emotions.